continuing to help us all get our life plan in place, no matter how old you are, is David L. Carrier. Good morning to Good you. Good morning, Leanne. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Let me, see the, you? Let me see the fingers. Fingers off. All right. Excellent. Good to go. Yeah, so you weren't one of those fireworks people over the weekend. No, no I'm good to go with all of that. I am a crafter, though. I wanted. To, I, I thought maybe you were looking to see if I'd paint, because normally I paint. No, I just wanted um, to make sure. You know, nope, you I'm good. All fingers, toes, everything good to go. Very good. Um, you said that recently you had someone come in your office with kind of an interesting situation. Yeah, you know, the problem with the law sometimes is it doesn't fit the way people actually live their lives. Mm -hmm. So we had a we have a situation now where uh, stepfather is in the is in the nursing home. I mean, he, you know, we're paying the ten thousand a month, twelve thousand a month mm -hmm. uh, for the nursing home, and he still has a chunk of savings. The problem is that years ago when the child was married mm -hmm. in order because they weren't too sure about the longevity of the marriage mm -hmm. right um, took money and put it in dad's account okay okay so if there was a divorce then this money would you know what I mean it's kind of a little sneaky Pete sort of thing yeah there. yeah well over the years it, it, it grew to about sixty to seventy thousand uh, dollars so the bulk of the money in dad's account is actually the child's money okay and the child's like well I'll, so I'll just move this money back to me and the answer is you can't do that that's going to disqualify dad uh, from receiving any help uh, for almost a year if you were to if you were to do that and the, mm -hmm. the point is there's so often there's there's the things that you want to do you can do it sure. okay but they have consequences and so it's not at all unusual frankly mm -hmm. um, for people to put the money here put the money there plus we have deeds dad had deeded the house to his uh, they're not his grandchildren they're his step grandchildren okay and the daughter thinks she's going to get the portion that didn't go to the grandkids but she's a stepdaughter right you know what that means? That means no relationship yeah, whatsoever. No mm -hmm. She's not going to get the account. If, if he were to have passed, if he were gone now, um, she wouldn't get the account. She wouldn't get her own money back. She wouldn't get a share of the house. I mean, it's just one of those situations where people, uh, they just go through life one foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. and they think, well, it'll all work out. And you know something? Dad would deed the house over if he knew that that's what he needed to do. Right. Dad would give her the money back if he was able to do it. Uh -huh. um, but, and at this point, we'll, we'll fix it. You know, Dad's still mentally competent, so sure. we, can, we can fix it. But it's one of those situations, again, where uh, if you plan ahead, if you're, if you're thinking about it, you know, okay. things will work out. Right. We, can, we can make them work out. What should she have done? What would have helped? Is that just too long to even fill the next two minutes to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why people do yeah, your right. life planning workshop. Come to a life plan workshop. <laughs> I think that's the answer for that one. Well, right? you know, I, I'm, I'm actually considering adding this to the, you know, as an example in the in the workshop because we we deal with various case studies. You know, what happened here, what happened there, and this is a, this is one of those examples where, with a little bit of planning ahead. Um, we wouldn't be in the now now here's the thing and here's the good news she didn't do it right she didn't take the money out of the account right three months ago pay it you know pay the nursing home bill till dad's money's all gone and now she's she she came in while we still have enough room okay. to make it right and okay. and that's what we'll be that's what we'll be doing but you know it's again the unintended consequences of what people do are just um, yeah. uh, and and, and, and you know, you pay your grandkid to take care of grandma, mm -hmm. right? Your kid, you pay him, yeah. use grandma's money to take care of grandma. You know, it's a lot less than a service would cost, and it's at home, and it's mm -hmm. all these good things. Disqualification. Okay. Boom. So the normal things that people normally do, mm -hmm. right, will get you into trouble. And then if you try to say, hey, I'm going to do a little asset protection against my spouse or things like this, yes. ways to do it, okay, but probably the way you just sort of, you know what Uncle Charlie did, or what your friend, you know, at the office did, or on the line did, is yeah. probably not going to work particularly well. And like I say, the time to fess up to that, the time to start is immediately. Okay, the sooner you start taking action to fix it, mm -hmm. the better off you're going to be. The more solutions that are available. Okay, okay? and um, you guys have an open house coming. We up. have an open. Got that's that information that's, out there, there, right? That's right. We're doing uh, we're uh, doing a ribbon cutting. Uh, thank you to the Grand Rapids uh, Chamber of Commerce. They supply the ribbon. Did you know that? That's fantastic. They come out and they have with this big those ribbon. Those are expensive the, these days. Oh, I, so in the big scissors. In the big scissors. That's exactly <laughs> right. We don't have that. I could do a lot of crafting with those scissors. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that so. Um, 
unfortunately, due to uh, technical difficulties beyond our control, yeah. uh, we're mailing out. We've mailed out, trying to mail out, 2,000 invites okay. to our to our existing families, um, just some of them, and um, those won't go out until sometime this week. Well, RSVP is Friday. Gotcha. Ugh, now what? Okay. So um, so that's why we're saying, eh. yeah. you know, if you're if you're one of our families, come yeah. on down. If you're not, if you're not. Um, come on down anyway, because there are going to be a lot of folks there that we've worked with. You know, I, I know how it is with lawyers. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to get someone else's perspective. Well, right, yeah, people who worked with mm -hmm. us, sure. you know, in a very low-key sort of thing. We do ask that you RSVP, though. Just okay. let us know so we have enough sliders for everybody. Okay, cool. Um, or if there's information, if they want to go ahead and reach out to you, the number is 616-361-8400, and they can always find you online at davidcarrierlaw.com. And don't forget the Life Plan Workshops. That's right. You can find those on there, too. Right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Thanks, Leanne.